company manufactures a brand of light bulb with lifetime in months that is normally distributed with mean three and various one. Uh, consumer buys a number of these bulbs with the intention of replacing them uh, successfully as they burn out. The light bulbs have mutually independent lifetimes. Calculate the smallest number of bulbs to be purchased so that the succession of light bulbs produces light for at least 40 months with probability at least 0.9772. So what they mean in the opening sentence is that the mean lifetime of each bulb is three months and the variance is one. So uh, we have to find how many bulbs you need so that you get a total uh, of at least 40 months life and that should happen with a probability of at least 0.9772. So let N be the bulbs we purchase and let X represent the total lifetime of these bulbs. So then since the mean of each uh, bulb's life is three months, so if you have N bulbs, then the mean would be three times N and the standard deviation is the square root of n times the uh, standard deviation of each of them and uh, each of them will have a standard deviation of square root of the variance. Variance was one, so we get square root n for the standard deviation. So we want, we, we're calling x as a total lifetime, so we want uh, probability of x being bigger than or equal to 40 to be at least 0.9972, which means to be greater than or equal to 0.9972. So let's start by solving uh, this probability to be equal to 0.9772. So the Z value corresponding to the probability of 0.9772, if we look at the um, table, so you see 0.9772 is 2. So z equals 2 corresponds to 0.9772. So if we remember the table goes for less than, so what that means is the probability of z less than or equal to 2 is 0.9772. So we want to make uh, this equation match exactly this equation with z in place of x so that we know that which uh, uh, relationship exists between z and x. So right now they almost match. The inequality is going the wrong way. So remember we want to keep this number and we want to have the inequality going the same way. So z less than or equal to 2 is the same as probability of z bigger than or equal to negative 2 because it's a symmetry. So you can look from the normal curve graph that uh, less than or equal to two is the area on the left of two and greater than or equal to negative two is the area on the right of two, which uh, is exactly the same. So we rewrite this equation as probability z greater than or equal to negative two equals 0.9772. And now this equation matches exactly this equation. So from here we can spot that uh, z, um, corresponds to x equals 4, so z equals negative 2 corresponds to x equals 40. So from this equation, we know that when z is negative 2, x will be 40. So negative 2 for z and 40 for the x, and the mean we already said was 3n, and the standard deviation was square root n. So after doing the algebra, you get this, and now if you substitute square root n equals y, this is a quadratic equation, factors like that. So y is four and the other value is negative 10 thirds, but y we are calling is to be square root of n. And if you look at this equation, square root of n is the standard deviation that has to be positive. So we don't take the negative value, we only take the y equals four. <clears throat> and y was square root n. So square root n equals four, so n equals 16. So with that n, remember n was the number of bulbs uh, we purchased. And if you purchase 16 bulbs, uh, you get the probability uh, of the lifetime being greater than or equal to 40 to be exactly the 0.9772. Uh, 
and we were asked mm, that how many bulbs do you need minimum so that the probability is at least 9772. So if you want a greater probability than 9772, then you will need more than um, 16 bulbs. So it means is that if you're asked the least number of bulbs, then 16 will do the job. You can't have lower than 16 because 16 was giving the probability to be equal to this and we want to be equal to or more. So more probability needs more bulbs. And so the least bulbs you need is 16. And that was choice B.